What is going on everyone? Welcome back to another video. Today we are here at the aquarium shop and we are going to be picking out a special fish. A fish that I've been looking for for years now. Andy finally got one in. So let's head in and pick this fish out. Boom. Here he is right here. The blue cod. They also have another name. I did forget it though. It's like something. They're, they're a species of grouper though. They also are called um, the blue cod and they are one of the most aggressive fish I've ever watched this. Look at that. My finger is not even in the water. It's kind of boom. Oh my gosh, this thing is so impressive. Look at the food ring in there. <laughs> yeah, so we are gonna pick up this fish today. This thing gets massive. If you do not know about the blue cod, I will pull up a little like, yeah, it's popping up right now. Yeah, so as you can see, they get huge and they are one of the most aggressive fish in the waters, literally. Also really, really pretty colors. It has like blue on its like side and a yellow tail, but these things get huge and we'll be able to do a bunch of crazy feedings with it. So we are gonna get Andy over here and we're gonna net this guy up, get him into a bag. I am absolutely in love with this fish. I'm not kidding you. It's really up there with the bumblebee grouper for sure. It's a beast. Ready to oh, eat. he is ready. And the bag fills up into water. And he is going in. Put your finger in there. Put your finger in there. Come on. <laughs> do it again. Do it again. Yeah. One more time. Come on. Don't be scared. Bite 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 it. Over here where he can't. He's so fast. He's aggressive, dude. That's going to be sick. Perfect size. Literally perfect size, too. And boom, oh, he's in the bag. This is like bumblebee grouper all over again for me, I swear. We got the blue cod in the bag. Andy's bagging them up right now. This is going to be absolutely sick. I've really been looking for a fish like that for a while. It is really hard to find them, especially where I live. It's going to give us a lot of future dope videos. I know that for a fact. It's going to be the bumblebee all over again, but 10 times like more aggressive. This is going to be epic, and I hope you guys are excited. If you are, like this video right now. All right, we got our blue cod in this bag. Real quick though, shout out to Aquarium Shop. I mean, this guy Andy, he is just amazing. When I tell you he is amazing, he's amazing. If you do want to come to the Aquarium Shop, I'm going to have their link in the description below. Go check them out. And we are back home. As you can see, we are at this tank right here in my room. I do not have much in here. The only reason I'm putting him in here to start off, because as you guys know, we do have a little it problem in this tank, so I do not want to add him to this. I do have Tommy, the aquarium service guy, coming over, uh, I think Thursday, so about two days from now, and we're gonna treat every fish. We're gonna put the fish that do have the parasites, the it, on them into a quarantine tank, and then we are gonna treat them. So Tommy actually recommended that we take the two fish out that have the ick, which one being the lionfish and then the other being the emperor snapper. So we're gonna take them out, put them into a quarantine empty tank, and then do this like hydro, it's a hydro dip or something where you literally just treat the fish and all like the ick and everything falls off of it. And you can actually see it. And we're gonna film that whole process, like I said, in two days. So when he comes here, I'm gonna film that whole thing. We're gonna treat the tank, we're gonna get the fish out, put them into the other tank. But for now, our blue cod is gonna go into this 40 gallon rimless aquarium it is perfect for him obviously he was in a smaller tank when we got him so this is kind of gonna be his little quarantine tank make sure he has no diseases make sure he doesn't get any diseases and if he does it will be a lot easier to treat in this rather than the big 200 gallon and then we got a little baby right there hey little baby let's get this guy acclimated we're gonna get a drip line going get him in a bucket and then he's going into his new aquarium all right we got our blue cod right here this uh, guys i am so excited you have no clue literally been looking for this fish for a very very long time even online, I couldn't even find them. So we finally found one in stores, and we got it. We're going to get this guy in the bucket, and then get a drip line from here, going into the bucket, and then he should be good. Here he is. There you go. Boom. He is in the bucket. So now I got to get the drip line. Once I do that, like I said, it's going to go from this tank into the bucket. We're going to give that about 20 minutes and it's slowly just going to add this water to that bucket, making it the right temperature and solidity. A few moments later. It is time to add our blue cod to his temporary aquarium for now. And here he is. Look at, look at the colors on him right now. He's like a, let's see, we're going to wet our hands here. See if I can get it. He's like got white dots all over him too. What we're going to do is dump him right into the tank. I do trust Andy's water. Go in. He's gonna, once he gets used to it and everything, he'll be good. We got our blue cod in the aquarium. We'll probably be in here for about two weeks until we get the whole ick situation in that tank cleared off. And then once the 200 gallon is good, he will go into that aquarium. For now, he's just hanging out. He is a little stressed out. So what we're gonna do is turn these lights off. And in the morning, I'll update you guys on how he's doing. 
and it is the next morning. Blue and yellow cod is under this rock right here. As you see, he's just swimming around. He's kind of hiding right now because you got to remember it is a new aquarium for him, so he's just not used to his like surroundings. It's just like if a human was just like brought to a new home and they had no clue where they were at first. Yeah, it's kind of the same thing. So he's gonna get used to it. In probably about two days or so, he'll be eating, and I will keep you guys updated on him throughout the whole process of moving him from this tank into that tank. There he is. He usually goes under that rock right there or that rock, and he hangs out. Sometimes when the lights are off, he'll get a little more comfortable. We'll be swimming around. I did just turn the lights on. It's the morning. He's kind of a little skittish right now. Now over to the little star, little baby. He's doing good. He's actually getting really, really fat. He's not a little baby anymore. He's a fat baby. He's starting to actually go outside a lot more now and kind of just hang out through the whole yard by himself. And it is all fenced in. At night, of course, we do bring him in. Just because of the raccoons we did have around us, we don't want anything happening to him right now. He is pretty small. But once he gets bigger, there won't be any raccoons messing with him. He's going he's gonna to have some horns on him. He'll be able to... Hit a raccoon right away. But yeah, that is little baby. Little baby, say hi to everyone. Can we get up? <laughs> so yeah, little baby's just munching on grass right now. He doesn't want to be bothered, so we're gonna let him be. Hi, little baby. Now into the fish room. As you guys know, I moved the mantis shrimp from this aquarium to this aquarium. He's actually like right back there. He uh, munched the crawfish the other day. Yeah, I do have the emperor snapper in this aquarium now. Me and Tommy from Aquarium Services are actually quarantining this guy and rehabilitating him. We got him in his own tank right now just so the disease doesn't spread anymore in the bigger tank and now we are treating him just because it is a lot smaller amount of water so it's a lot easier i'm gonna keep you guys updated on him he looks a lot better actually but as you can see he is in some pretty bad shape and that is it that is what it does it take literally takes over a fish if they don't have a strong enough immune system so why we have him in here is just so we can watch him better feed him better and treat him better i'll keep you guys up there and there he is right there oh where did this go oh. So yeah, he goes between this little hole right here and this one right here. But as you guys saw at the pet store, this thing was like kind of bite off her finger. So in a couple of days, he should get used to this tank and be that aggressive. That's, I mean, that was pretty sick if you ask me. Literally just stuck your finger in here and he would try to bite your finger. Also, real quick, I did want to get your guys' opinion on this. So I got this little like beach thing I built in this yard. Yeah, I, I don't know if I told you guys this, but yeah, I put this here because as you guys know, I literally love like the beach. I mean, I don't live too far from it. It's about two miles away, but I wanted to like, I can't live on on the beach so like i kind of just made a little beach in the backyard but i was thinking since we have the beach why don't we build like a little pond right here nothing crazy big probably about four feet by four feet and then just like add some shape to it and it would come out like put a waterfall in that corner and then have it like come out here and go like this and then yeah so then like while you're sitting by this fire pit and stuff at night you have like that waterfall sound i feel like that would be pretty cool and then we can get fish for it which would also be pretty sick let me know what you guys think in the comments down below if you think we should build a pond right here and yeah, that was an absolute blast. Holy crap, there's literally like a hurricane. I don't know how bad the audio is right now. I'm literally trying to get out. Hold on, let me get out of this. But, 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 that was an absolute blast. I cannot believe we found a blue and yellow cod. I don't know if you guys know about this fish. They get absolutely huge and they're very, very, very aggressive. As you guys saw in the pet store, that thing was literally trying to bite Courtney's hand. It almost bit off her finger. But if he was a little bigger, guaranteed he probably would have bit off her finger. We do have him in the 40 gallon right now. And that's only because I didn't want to take the risk of putting him in the 200 gallon and getting a disease. So we put him in the 40 gallon for now. We're going to keep an eye on him. Also, a really cool thing about Andy, all his fish he gets in, he does do treatments on them. Before he sells them, he does a whole bunch of treatments for like any disease diseases or parasites like that so you don't really have to worry about that with him not all pet stores do that just so you guys know some of them literally just get them from the wholesaler and then put them into the tanks andy will actually get them and then treat them and then sell them so a huge less chance of getting diseases once when you get fish from andy but we're just gonna do this just because i did have ick in that tank and i don't want to take the chances so we're gonna give that about two weeks. I do have aquarium services coming Thursday, so that's two days from now. We are gonna film that whole process of them here and us like treating the fish, just so you guys, if you do ever have a problem like this, you'll know how to care for it or treat it. But with that being said, we got a blue and yellow cod. Absolutely amazing fish. This fish is gonna grow to be a monster, I promise you guys. And I have huge, huge plans for this pool pond in the future. Not the pool pond I have now, but yeah. You just subscribe so you do not miss out on it because I promise you, it's gonna be the best on YouTube. I don't care what anyone says. It is literally gonna be the craziest fish collection on YouTube. We're gonna have the most craziest saltwater fish in this pool pond. So make sure you guys are subscribed. If you did enjoy the video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Also, comment down below a name for our blue and yellow cod. This is literally like, um, I would say like a second version of a bumblebee grouper. It, I was so excited. That was my dream fish. And then I got it. And now this is kind of like my second dream fish. And I got it. So yeah, comment down below. This fish is going to be a huge part of the channel. That being said though, guys, we'll see you in the next one. See ya!